First Samuel 3.10 Samuel answered, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Praise God. We can't answer God unless he speaks to us first. So let me tell you first that God has spoken to you. Yes, the Bible says that many are called, but few are chosen. It doesn't say that all are called, because we know that many will not hear the call. But the fact is, is that God has spoken to us through his word, through the Bible. That is his message. The gospel, all-inclusive biblical content is all there. It's all there. We have to understand that God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Let the, let the lost person come to believe through that hearing. But, but we have to decide to say, we, we, we hear. We hear God. We hear you. But see, not just, okay, yeah, dude, we hear you. Oh, yeah, I hear the creator. Yeah, I hear the creator. Or I feel the creator. No, no, no. Your servant hears you. Speak. Tell me what you want me to do, right? So now this is go this goes beyond just the scripture itself. This goes into a personal relationship with God. And Samuel is saying to God, tell me what you want me to do. Because the Bible tells us how to live, but it doesn't give us specifics. What job to go to, to apply to, uh, what person to marry, um, uh, what kind of people and what kind of jobs. And, and, and this, you know, there's, there's different things in the Bible that can help us make decisions. But our day to day uh, decisions that we make in life, you know, hundreds of them every day, we have to be guided. We have to be guided by wisdom, by purity, by holiness. I love and we can't be guided by something that we don't that we don't seek <laughs> that we don't listen to you don't turn on your gps to ignore it if you don't know where you're going you turn on your gps to 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 read it and to listen to it right listen to that voice turn left turn left recalculating recal yeah. oh yeah always recalculating because why because we go down the wrong direct we go in the wrong direction god is speaking we need to have ears to hear. And yes, there are people who cannot hear. And there are people who cannot see. But God communicates through other means. He communicates to those who can't see. He communicates by speaking. To those who can't hear, you can read the Bible, right? And if you're at loss for both, uh, there's sign language. There's, there's all kinds of ways of communication. But God will speak to you. You'll hear his voice whether you're deaf or dumb or blind because the deaf will hear and the blind will see right the dumb will speak right that's right and the dead will live again hallelujah so when god wants to speak to us he will speak to us every everyone that that he speaks to and it's our responsibility to say i'm your servant what would you have me do so if you're not saved if you haven't come to a saving relationship, a saving uh, faith in, in Christ Jesus, he's calling you. He's calling you just because you're listening to this, this, this little video right here. You know, he's speaking to you through this message. He speaks to you through the word and he speaks to you through people and he speaks to you through circumstances also. But it is your responsibility to say, I'm your servant what would you have me do? Do you want to hear God and do what God says? That's, that's a question we need to ask every person and every believer. Because there's some people who, who you know, confess that they're Christians and they don't do what God says. Because they're not truly his servant. Lord, speak for your servant hears. Praise God. God bless you. Till next time. May the Lord richly bless you.